Yo, peloteros, you guys wanna level up on the diamond. Better yet, you guys wanna level up in life. If so, pay attention to this quote right here. An intelligent person learns from their own mistakes, while a genius learns from the mistakes of others. That's what you're gonna learn in this video. If I'm having a conversation with my 20 year old self, this is exactly what I tell him. Buckle up. All right, I'm gonna meet y'all at the field. Like and subscribe. Let's go. Oh, y'all didn't know I could do that, huh? So first thing I wish I knew way back when when I was balling out was play your game. Now, it's very simple. Play your game means immerse yourself in the moment. You've heard me talk about this before, que no quiere. Right? So let's just say you're in a game and you have one shortstop who's thinking about his homework and another shortstop who wants this ball. What are you doing? So whoever wants the ball the most is gonna be the athlete that's gonna have most success on the field because now he's in the moment. He's not thinking about other things. And I'll use homework as an example, but it could be Fortnite, it could be girls, it could be food, it could be a bunch of other things that your mind's thinking about that shouldn't be thinking about. So I want y'all to relax and pride yourself in taking discipline and professional at bats. And it starts with day by day practices, having professional practices, having disciplined practices. And ultimately it's gonna help you focus on what you can control. Which takes me right into the next point. But before we get into that point, it's kind of cold here. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go warm up a little bit. I'm gonna catch you over there. I wanted that ball. <laughs> There's the ball right there, okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we had to come inside for this one. It's, it's really cold outside, but point number two. Point number two, wear sweatpants when it's cold. Is focus on what you can control. Quick story, in my college baseball days, I'm gonna say it was my senior year of college, but the season starts. That game was incredible. So we turned like five double plays. I had about 10 chances myself, all but one went my way. Long story short, it was deemed an error when in my opinion, it was not. So what I did, the mistake I made was when I got home, I looked at the computer and saw error. And that got to me, because it was an error. Uh, obviously that's something I can't control. I can't just go to the uh, data guy and say, hey bro, that wasn't an error. I let it snowball. And momentum can go either way. It can go in a positive way and it could go in a negative way. It will snowball in both directions and I let that snowball in a negative direction and obviously I wish I knew what I know now what I should have done was just let go a lot of you guys know about self-help and the law of attraction what you think about is what you're gonna get so all I thought about was that error and how from there on I had to be perfect because I had aspirations of gold glove type awards um, but that one error is what made it snowball and obviously what came after more errors, you guessed it. So yeah, if I could do anything differently, is just let that go now. The pre-workout's kicking in, so I'm gonna see you at the gym. stuff in. Now, uh, yeah, let's just scope the body now. Let's go. Yeah. Good form workout. 
don't break my idea. Back up. Brachial radialis is active. Oh, this hurts. But it's a good hurt. Hi. All right, I'm done. Yeah, forearm workouts for you guys. Uh, don't break parallel. Come up. But this kills this part of the form right here. And just don't break 90, come back up. Break 90, come back up. Oh, hey, bro. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Let's keep it that way. Y'all will never see me do that again. Part three on what I wish I knew when I was balling. Hard work isn't always smart. I'm hungry. Ooh, we about to get them gains in, jam-packed with protein anyways. Number three, hard work isn't always smart, right? A lot of push-ups, sit-ups, and marathon running uh, is often disguised as hard work because you're sweating and you're working and you get home tired, right? But that doesn't always translate to the sport that you play, whether it's baseball, basketball, football, even life. If you keep doing the same thing over and over and over and it's misguiding you, it's not making you better towards that end goal, which is, in this case, baseball, then you shouldn't do it. There's gonna be a point where you gotta start training sports specific, and the sooner you start that, obviously the more experience you're gonna have doing that, which in turn is gonna make you better when you're 19, 20, 21 years old. Imagine starting this up when you're seven, right? And not 21 when I started. Uh, you would be leaps and bounds ahead of the competition. Now, what you should do instead of the push-up, sit-up marathon is stuff you see on your screen sport specific movements, sprinting instead of jogging, fast twitch stuff that's gonna help you become better. I recommend doing low reps, high intensity, and get it. Now now we're gonna go train some kids and uh, you know we got the training in for us. Now we're gonna go get other kids better. Let's go. First, protein. <laughs> see that this might not be the best decision I've ever made in my life but then again it might uh, because I'm I've been low on calories so I haven't had Krispy Kreme in about seven years what happens when it gets to that extent do people just say in years or do they say actual number anyways <laughs> this is a red velvet filled uh, like vanilla glaze that looks amazing we got the strawberry we got the two glaze we got the Reese's cup and we got the blue I was gonna say barbecue so you know I'm hungry. Blueberry glazed donut. And uh, which one should I try first, bro? That one. I'm gonna take y'all with me next time because it's gonna be a next time. And I need calories because I worked hard today in the gymnasium, in the gym. So enough wasting time. The fifth thing I wish I knew when I was 15, 16, 20 years old is practice makes progress. And I, I want you guys to understand that practice doesn't make perfect. Practice makes progress and to notice that progress, to acknowledge that progress is a big step towards the right direction because now you're not overwhelmed by the big picture, by the big goal, by how far you might be to that goal. What you're focused on instead is making incremental progress and eventually those little breaks are gonna add up and you're gonna build a wall, eventually you're gonna build a room and you're gonna build a big old house. I use video editing as an example because my video editing skills weren't great. Let's be honest, like this was my first video. Point is that I'm proud of the progress I've made and it's not gonna end there because my goal is to make every video better. And your goal should be to make every swing better, every throw better, every ground ball better. And if you take that attitude, but still notice the progress, it's a good recipe for success. If you guys need some progress tips, I got a whole playlist. Click this video for a bunch of drills and mental jewels and a bunch of things you can do on a daily basis to help you build and stack those bricks. If you haven't already hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop mental jewel videos like this one. I hope y'all enjoyed it. That being said, let's get to work because you already know what time it is, right? Time is now. <laughs> to eat these donuts, I'll catch y'all.